Well, to begin with, it would be fine to preserve all the forests if there weren't any people. But there's nearly seven billion of us. This is a fact. And every day we wake up with real needs for food, energy, and materials. Trees and the wood they produce are the most important renewable energy resource in the world. About 75% of all the world's renewable energy is derived from wood and woody materials. In addition, over 95% of all the renewable material resources for building and making paper, etc., are from trees. There is no denying this fact. If we did not use wood as an energy and material resource, we would have to use something else. Plastic, concrete, steel, what else? Aluminum. You know, these are very energy intensive, non renewable materials. So, as an environmentalist, I know that what we should be doing is growing more trees and using more wood. Of course, we should have vast areas of parks and wilderness. I've always been in favor of that, based on ecosystems, so that we save large areas of every kind of ecosystem in the world and all of the wildlife and biodiversity that lives within those ecosystems. Maybe 15% of the world's forests, 20% of the world's forests should be permanently preserved. But because there are seven billion of us and growing, we need to use a lot of the world's forest land base to provide our civilization with what it needs. And my environmentalism is a humanitarian as well as a biodiversity oriented type of environmentalism. We need to balance our needs with the needs of the environment. That is why it is very important to continue to use wood and the only way we can do that is to manage forests. We can't just exploit wood. We have to sustain forests, grow forests, plant trees, improve on the tree's genetics. That's what the future is for forestry. In North America, the forests cover the same area today as they did a hundred years ago, even though there's more than three times as many people and we use more wood per capita than anybody else in the world. All of this is in my book, Confessions of a Greenpeace Dropout, The Making of a Sensible Environmentalist, and I encourage you to read it because it will give you a new perspective on the whole issue of environment and our role in it. Thank you very much.